heart of the fan. Dear Cincinnati, today we start our shared journey together. It begins with baseball's best opening day, one we've nailed down from the very start. An annual celebration of all that has come before. The 1990 World Championship belongs to the Cincinnati Red. And all we hope may come again. Celebrate it up, Reds fans. Your team is going to the playoffs. This season, we will cheer on our living legends and cherish the memories of the legends we have lost. Today, we welcome back fans in the stands, waiting to roar for the moments to come. Baseball's greatest strength is its very nature. It's every day. From here on out, we're family, bonded by baseball. Cincinnati Reds baseball. Join us. Settle in. The familiar is found. Reds baseball is back. And I can't wait to get started. Fifth in Reds lore and Great American Ballpark is back in a big way. So are the fans for the first time in a year and a half. The pageantry, the wonder, the excitement of opening day, all the ceremonies, they spill into this fantastic action. And a pleasant good afternoon, everybody. My name is John Sadak alongside the Reds legend, the Hall of Famer, the captain, Barry Larkin, is back. And we are so delighted to have you here with us today, my friend. Well, I'm happy to be here with you, and it's opening day. I'm really looking forward to this season. There's going to be some great storylines, and it's time to play baseball, and it's time for it to count. And they'll do it today with some chilly weather. That should mean advantage pitcher. We have an advantage. The third member of our broadcast crew today, we go to Cincinnati's own Chris Welsh entering season 29. Congratulations to you. Well, thank you, John and Barry. Welcome. Uh, great to have you guys on the TV crew, and I think we're in for a very fine year this year. Well, today, the opening day nod goes to Luis Castillo. What should we expect from La Piedra? Well, you know, you know he's got the best changeup in baseball. If not the best, then certainly one of the best. And he throws in the high 90s. So he's easily got the best arm on this ball club. And he has to realize, I think, that how important he is to the success of this team. And that means for Castillo, pound the strike zone. Fill up the strike zone as much as you can. Get as many innings in there rather than worry about your pitch count. I think if Luis Castillo does that, uh, it's going to be a very good day for the Reds. Early on for Castillo, look to see if he's throwing that fast ball in the zone. Once he gets wired in the zone with that heater, the changeup opens up everything. And the locks will be flowing as well as he fires that ball. And he's going to have some help at shortstop, a position you know a thing or two about. Good vibes only. A. Eugenio Suarez starting at shortstop yet again. Eugenio Suarez this offseason lost about 15 pounds. He talked about how he wanted to be more productive. He was really disappointed last season uh, with his performance. But he said he wants to hit 50 home runs. So... We're talking about a gold glove caliber shortstop that hits 50 home runs. It should be something exciting to watch this season. And he is at shortstop in part because Jonathan India is going to make his big league debut. We'll have more on that with Jim Day right around the corner. Valley Sports Ohio is on the air 